As we all know that in Star Citizen, the range of detection of ships and vehicles depends on two major factors the radar type and the target ship's emission signatures. For radar type and detection range, I just made a detailed video, link below. In this video, however, we will be looking at one of the three emission signatures, cross-section. And this is a tricky one, because cross-section is largely determined by the physical size of the ship and greatly affected, in theory at least, by the angle that you are facing the target ship. So now let's do some fun experiments to test this theory. All right, so we have two birds here, one red bird and one black bird, and we're gonna be using these two birds for our experiment. But before we begin, let's take a look at this website. So this is a Star Citizen ship viewer. If you don't know about this website, I'm gonna put a link below. If you select the specific ship over here and you can see radar emissions, and over here, the last line, this one is your cross section. And it says front cross section 646, and side is 5174, and top is 4441. I do have a question here, which I do not fully understand. I did a lot of research on this. First of all, there isn't a lot of resources. Like talk about the details of cross section in here. And second, all the research is telling me when you face the ship from the top or the bottom, the cross section should be the highest. But I don't know why it says the side is 5174. So what does this mean is this. So front means you facing the ship nose to nose like this. And then the target ship cross section signature is 646. And the side, I assume it's when you face the ship like this on the side. And then you have the highest cross section signature, which is 5174. When you see the most silhouette of the ship, this should be the highest cross section signature, right? But according to this website, from the top is 4441. You also don't have this number showing on your HUD. However, one thing, that's showing on your HUD is the highest cross-section signature is 5174, which matches on the website. So now let's do our experiment. So I'm gonna line up with a ship nose to nose. And currently the signature for the Blackbird, the IR is 5131, the EM is 4736. And now I'm gonna back up the Redbird. 2.8, 2.9, three kilometers. 4.0, oh, 4.1, I lost the ship. So remember, according to the website, the cross section when you face nose to nose is 646. So cross section is not the highest emission signature. And let me target the ship right now. So you can see the highest signature for the target ship is actually IR, which is 5131, which means we should be able to detect the ship until we go beyond. 5.1 kilometers, but I lose the lock at 4.1 kilometers. One thing I can think of is the number that's showing on your ship does not count the stealth reduction number, or this is simply a bug. Because the stealth reduction for the Firebird right now is currently still 20%, and 20% deducted from the highest signature IR. It makes sense about 4,100 meters that you lose a lock. Otherwise, I assume this we will lose a lock at 5.1 kilometers because IR is the highest signature. All right, the second experiment, the Red Bird is a target ship. For the Red Bird, I have no shield generators, only one power plant and one cooler. My IR is 4400, my EM is 2744. And cross section, it depends on the angle. So right now I'm gonna align with a black bird and target lock. Okay, so the red bird has been target locked. Let's see, I'm gonna pull back. Let's see when I will lose the lock for the red bird. 2.5 kilometers, 3.2, 3.3, .3, 3.4. Oh, 3.5 kilometers. Now, 3.4, I got a radar lock. Yep, after 3.5 kilometers, the enemy lose a target lock on my ship. So as you can see, my IR is 4400, which is the highest signature for the ship. 
Yet, enemy cannot lock me beyond 3.5 kilometers. So, I think the value on your HUD does not take into account the stealth reduction value? I am not sure. I might have to test on a different ship. So now I'm gonna do 90 degree angle. Let's check. So we're still gonna use a red bird as a target ship because the IR for this ship and the EM is lower than the highest cross section aligned in 90 degree angle with the blackbird. Now I am going to pull away the blackbird and watch my radar lock. Radar locked. I'm gonna watch my distance with the blackbird. So pull away blackbird. In theory, the blackbird should be detecting me with the cross-section value because my cross-section value should be higher than my IR at this angle. Approaching 3.5, which was my IR target lock range. Oh, oh. I, I'm still losing target lock after 3.5 kilometers. So 35, 68 meters. The enemy cannot target lock my ship, the Red Bird. Which means the highest cross-section value over here, 5174, does not take into account. So now the Black Bird is aligned with the Red Bird on the side. And I'm gonna pull away the Black Bird. And let's check the radar lock. Okay, three kilometers now. 32, 33, 35, oh, 36, 37, oh, 38. Okay, let's try again. Read our lock. 35, pull away, 36, 37. At 38, I drop off the enemy radar. So this is a little bit better. I mean, not better, but worse. But of course, the number is a little bit bigger, the distance, than when the enemy is facing the ship from the top. So I guess the website is correct, at least on the site, when you try to detect the ship, when you're facing the ship on the site, the cross section is actually bigger than when you face the enemy at 90 degrees from the top or the bottom, but the number does not match. Because according to the website, the highest number for cross-section is 5174. Yet, enemy cannot target lock me after 38, 19 meters. It's like you're doing accounting at the end of the year. You just found out that your company made extra $200 million. But you just cannot consolidate those numbers. You don't know where those money come from. Which is a good thing. But what's happening? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so the next test is regarding the suppressed overall IR. One viewer is very interested in knowing if this actually works in practice. So let's check this out. Right now, when I target the Blackbird, the IR is the highest signature. And I'm facing the Blackbird nose to nose, so we can disregard the cross-section value. So IR5131, I'm gonna click Suppress Overall IR on the Blackbird. There's an issue with your Apple Music account. To resolve this, what? the music account is up to date in the settings. What the heck? Shut up, Siri. I'm not talking to you. Okay, I just click Suppress Overall IR for the Blackbird. Now I can see on my other computer, the Blackbird's IR signature is 4158. However, on this ship, on my ship, the Redbird, it still shows 5131. So let's actually pull away from the ship like this. Let's see the actual detection range. Remember earlier, the detection range is 4.1 kilometers, which is the IR signature for the Blackbird. 6, 7, 8, Nine four point zero. Oh, same range. Four point zero, four point one. Yes, after four point one, couldn't detect the enemy. So this is the same as before. When we do not press suppress IR. Okay, I'm gonna try on the red bird. 
Okay, target the red bird. So I believe it's 3.5, 3.6 kilometers. Yes, 3.5 kilometers. Enemy will lose a target lock on the red bird. Now I'm gonna go press, suppress overall IR. And you can see uh, my IR goes down to 39.65. And then let's try to get target locked again. Okay, target locked. And then pull away. Nope. It's still the same 3.5 kilometers. So the suppress IR does not make too much of a difference, if none at all. And the cross section value in practice is way different than the numbers on paper. All right, now let's try with a different ship. Missiles! Oh no, got hit by missiles! Ah, man. I hate the Blackbird.